section nine of the book of enoch translated by robert henry charles this librivox recording is in the public domain chapter sixty five enoch foretells to noah the deluge and his own preservation chapter sixty five and in those days noah saw the earth that it had sunk down and its destruction was nigh and he arose from thence and went to the ends of the earth and cried aloud to his grandfather enoch and noah said three times with an embittered voice hear me hear me hear me and i said unto him tell me what it is that is falling out on the earth that the earth is in such evil plight and shaken lest perchance i shall perish with it and thereupon there was a great commotion on the earth and a voice was heard from heaven and i fell on my face and enoch my grandfather came and stood by me and said unto me why hast thou cried unto me with a bitter cry and weeping and a command has gone forth from the presence of the lord concerning those who dwell on the earth that their ruin is accomplished because they have learnt all the secrets of the angels and all the violence of the satans and all their powers the most secret ones and all the power of those who practise sorcery and the power of witchcraft and the power of those who make molten images for the whole earth and how silver is produced from the dust of the earth and how soft metal originates in the earth for lead and tin are not produced from the earth like the first it is a fountain that produces them and an angel stands therein and that angel is preeminent and after that my grandfather enoch took hold of me by my hand and raised me up and said unto me go for i have asked the lord of spirits as touching this commotion on the earth and he said unto me because of their unrighteousness their judgment has been determined upon and shall not be withheld by me for ever because of the sorceries which they have searched out and learnt the earth and those who dwell upon it shall be destroyed and these they have no place of repentance for ever because they have shown them what was hidden and they are the damned but as for thee my son the lord of spirits knows that thou art pure and guiltless of this reproach concerning the secrets and he has destined thy name to be among the holy and will preserve thee amongst those who dwell on the earth and has destined thy righteous seed both for kingship and for great honours and from thy seed shall proceed a fountain of the righteous and holy without number for ever chapter sixty six the angels of the waters bidden to hold them in check chapter sixty six and after that he showed me the angels of punishment who were prepared to come and let loose all the powers of the waters which are beneath in the earth in order to bring judgment and destruction on all who abide and dwell on the earth and the lord of spirits gave commandment to the angels who were going forth that they should not cause the waters to rise but should hold them in check for those angels were over the powers of the waters and i went away from the presence of enoch chapter sixty seven god's promise to noah places of punishment of the angels and of the kings chapter sixty seven and in those days the word of god came unto me and he said unto me noah thy lot has come up before me a lot without blame a lot of love and uprightness and now the angels are making a wooden building and when they have completed the task i will place my hand upon it and preserve it and there shall come forth from it the seed of life and a change shall set in so that the earth will not remain without inhabitant and i will make fast thy seed before me for ever and ever and i will spread abroad those who dwell with thee it shall not be unfruitful on the face of the earth but it shall be blessed and multiply on the earth in the name of the lord and he will imprison those angels who have shown unrighteousness in that burning valley which my grandfather enoch had formerly shown to me in the west among the mountains of gold and silver and iron and soft metal and tin and i saw that valley in which there was a great convulsion and a convulsion of the waters and when all this took place from that fiery molten metal and from the convulsion thereof in that place there was produced a smell of sulphur and it was connected with those waters and that valley of the angels who had led astray mankind burned beneath that land and through its valleys proceed streams of fire where these angels are punished who had led astray those who dwell upon the earth but those waters shall in those days serve for the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who dwell on the earth for the healing of the body but for the punishment of the spirit now their spirit is full of lust that they may be punished in their body 
for they have denied the Lord of Spirits and see their punishment daily, and yet believe not in his name. And in proportion as the burning of their bodies becomes severe, a corresponding change shall take place in their spirit for ever and ever. For before the Lord of Spirits none shall utter an idle word. For the judgment shall come upon them, because they believe in the lust of their body and deny the Spirit of the Lord. And those same waters will undergo a change in those days. For when those angels are punished in these waters, these water springs shall change their temperature. And when the angels ascend, this water of the springs shall change and become cold. And I heard Michael answering and saying, This judgment wherewith the angels are judged is a testimony for the kings and the mighty who possess the earth. Because these waters of judgment minister to the healing of the body of the kings and the lust of their body, therefore they will not see and will not believe that those waters will change and become a fire which burns for ever. Chapter 68 Michael and Raphael, astonished at the severity of the judgment. Chapter 68 And after that my grandfather Enoch gave me the teaching of all the secrets in the book and the parables, which had been given to him, and he put them together for me in the words of the book of the parables. And on that day Michael answered Raphael and said, The power of the Spirit transports, and makes me to tremble, because of the severity of the judgment of the secrets and the judgment of the angels. Who can endure the severe judgment which has been executed, and before which they melt away? And Michael answered again and said to Raphael, Who is he whose heart is not softened concerning it? and whose reins are not troubled by this word of judgment that has gone forth upon them because of those who have thus led them out and it came to pass when he stood before the lord of spirits michael said thus to raphael i will not take their part under the eye of the lord for the lord of spirits has been angry with them because they do as if they were the lord therefore all that is hidden shall come upon them for ever and ever for neither angel nor man shall have his portion in it, but alone they have received their judgment for ever and ever. Chapter 69 The Names and Functions of the Fallen Angels and Satans The Secret Oath Chapter 69 And after this judgment they shall terrify and make them to tremble, because they have shown this to those who dwell on the earth. And behold, the names of those angels, and these are their names, the first of them is Samjaza, the second Artaquifa, and the third Armen, the fourth Kolkabel, the fifth Turial, the sixth Rumjal, the seventh Danjal, the eighth Nikwel, the ninth Barakwel, the tenth Azazel, the eleventh Armaros, the twelfth Batarajal, the thirteenth Besasajal, the fourteenth Hananel, the fifteenth Tural, and the sixteenth Semapasiel, the seventeenth Jetrel, the eighteenth Tamel, the nineteenth Tural, the twentieth Rumael, the twenty-first Azazel. And these are the chiefs of their angels and their names, and their chief ones over hundreds and over fifties and over tens. The name of the first Jequan, that is, the one who led astray all the sons of God, and brought them down to the earth, and led them astray through the daughters of men. And the second was named Aspiel. He imported to the holy sons of God evil counsel, and led them astray, so that they deviled their bodies with the daughters of men. And the third was named Gadriel. He it is who showed the children of men all the blows of death, and he led astray Eve, and showed the weapons of death to the sons of men the shield, and the coat of mail, and the sword for battle, and all the weapons of death to the children of men. And from his hand they have proceeded against those who dwell on the earth from that day and forevermore. And the fourth was named Panemuel. He taught the children of men the bitter and the sweet, and he taught them all the secrets of their wisdom. And he instructed mankind in writing with ink and paper, and thereby many sinned from eternity to eternity and until this day. For men were not created for such a purpose, to give confirmation to their good faith with pen and ink. For men were created exactly like the angels, to the intent that they should continue pure and righteous, and death, which destroys everything, could not have taken hold of them. But through this their knowledge they are perishing, and through this power it is consuming me. 
and the fifth was named Castasia. This is he who showed the children of men all the wicked smitings of spirits and demons, and the smitings of the embryo in the womb, that it may pass away, and the smitings of the soul, the bites of the serpent, and the smitings which befall through the noontide heat. The son of the serpent named Tabaet. And this is the task of Caspiel, the chief of the oath which he showed to the holy ones when he dwelt high above in glory, and its name is Bequa. This angel requested Michael to show him the hidden name, that he might enunciate it in the oath, so that those might quake before that name and oath who revealed all that was in secret to the children of men. And this is the power of this oath, for it is powerful and strong. And he placed this oath, Ake, in the hand of Michael. And these are the secrets of this oath, and they are strong through his oath. And the heaven was suspended before the world was created and forever. And through it the earth was founded upon the water. And from the secret recesses of the mountains come beautiful waters from the creation of the world and unto eternity. And through that oath the sea was created, and as its foundation he set for it the sand against the time of its anger, and it dare not pass beyond it from the creation of the world unto eternity. And through that oath are the depths made fast, and abide and stir not from their place from eternity to eternity. And through that oath the sun and moon complete their course, and deviate not from their ordinance from eternity to eternity. And through that oath the stars complete their course, and he calls them by their names, and they answer him from eternity to eternity. And in like manner the spirits of the water and of the winds and of all zephyrs and their paths from all the quarters of the winds and there are preserved the voices of the thunder and the light of the lightnings and there are preserved the chambers of the hail and the chambers of the hoarfrost and the chambers of the mist and the chambers of the rain and the dew and all these believe and give thanks before the lord of spirits and glorify him with all their power and their food is in every act of thanksgiving and they thank and glorify and extol the name of the Lord of Spirits for ever and ever. And this oath is mighty over them, and through it they are preserved, and their paths are preserved, and their course is not destroyed. Close of the Third Parable And there was great joy amongst them, and they blessed and glorified and extolled, because the name of that Son of Man had been revealed unto them. And he sat on the throne of his glory, and the sum of judgment was given unto the Son of Man. And he caused the sinners to pass away and be destroyed from off the face of the earth. And those who have led the world astray, with chains shall they be bound, and in their assemblage place of destruction shall they be imprisoned, and all their works vanish from the face of the earth. And from henceforth there shall be nothing corruptible. For that Son of Man has appeared and has seated himself on the throne of his glory, and all evil shall pass away from before his face. And the word of that Son of Man shall go forth and be strong before the Lord of Spirits. This is the third parable of Enoch. Chapter 70 The Final Translation of Enoch Chapter 70 And it came to pass after this that his name during his lifetime was raised aloft to that Son of Man and to the Lord of Spirits from amongst those who dwell on the earth. And he was raised aloft on the chariots of the Spirit, and his name vanished among them. And from that day I was no longer numbered amongst them. And he set me between the two winds, between the north and the west, where the angels took the cords to measure for me the place for the elect and righteous. And there I saw the first fathers and the righteous who from the beginning dwell in that place. Chapter 71 Two Earlier Versions of Enoch Chapter 71 And it came to pass after this that my spirit was translated, and it ascended into the heavens, and I saw the holy sons of God. They were stepping on flames of fire, their garments were white, and their raiment, and their faces shone like snow. And I saw two streams of fire, and the light of that fire shone like hyacinth, and I fell on my face before the Lord of Spirits. And the angel Michael, one of the archangels, seized me by my right hand, and he lifted me up and led me forth into all the secrets, and he showed me all the secrets of righteousness. And he showed me all the secrets of the ends of the heaven, and all the chambers of all the stars, and all the luminaries, 
whence they proceed before the face of the holy ones and he translated my spirit into the heaven of heavens and i saw there as it were a structure built of crystals and between those crystals tongues of living fire and my spirit saw the girdle which girt that house of fire and on its four sides were streams full of living fire and they girt that house and round about were seraphim cherubic and ophanan and these are they who sleep not and guard the throne of his glory and i saw angels who could not be counted a thousand thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand encircling that house and michael and raphael and gabriel and phanuel and the holy angels who are above the heavens go in and out of that house and they came forth from that house and michael and gabriel raphael and phanuel and many holy angels without number and with them the head of days his head white and pure as wool and his raiment indescribable and i fell on my face and my whole body became relaxed and my spirit was transfigured and i cried with a loud voice with the spirit of power and blessed and glorified and extolled and these blessings which went forth out of my mouth were well pleasing before that head of days and that head of days came with michael and gabriel raphael and phanuel thousands and ten thousands of angels without number lost passage wherein the son of man was described as accompanying the head of days and enoch asked one of the angels as in forty six three concerning the son of man as to who he was and he in other words the angel came to me and greeted me with his voice and said unto me this is the son of man who is born unto righteousness and righteousness abides over him and the righteousness of the head of days forsakes him not and he said unto me he proclaims unto thee peace in the name of the world to come for from hence has proceeded peace since the creation of the world and so shall it be unto thee for ever and for ever and ever and all shall walk in his ways since righteousness never forsaketh him with him will be their dwelling places and with him their heritage and they shall not be separated from him for ever and ever and ever and so there shall be length of days with that son of man and the righteous shall have peace and an upright way in the name of the lord of spirits for ever and ever end of section nine read by c j plogue